So now we get to the point where we want to read from the current sensor into a microcontroller. And for this I'm using the Arduino, this is the Arduino Uno. And I've just put this wire between the sensor and the Arduino on VCC ground and one of the analog inputs, in fact, analog input A0. And I've opened up a sketch on the computer and it's pretty much the standard analog read serial sketch. All I've done is stripped all the comments out and extended the delay so that the uh, sensor values come in a little bit more slowly. And there's the serial read and you can see we're getting numbers coming in that are 512, 513, 514 and that makes sense because the current sensor is a bi-directional sensor and uh, when there's no amps going through it it sits at the midpoint of its voltage output Now the voltage output can be anywhere between 0 and 5 so sitting at the midpoint is 2.5 volts and when that's converted by the analog to digital converter to a number it will be halfway to being 1023 and halfway up to 1023 is kind of 511, 512. So it's close, there's a little bit of an offset on there. I'd say that the average value coming out of there is 514. So the next thing I'm going to do is subtract the 514 away to try and zero this out. So what I've done is I've put 514 minus the sensor value in the serial print line. And that's done the job of removing that offset we're getting minus ones, we're getting zeros, we're getting plus ones. Now the reason I did 514 minus the sensor value and not the other way around is because I happen to know that this current sensor is orientated on this piece of chipboard here in such a way that when I put current going through this way, uh, yellow to red, I'm actually going to get a negative output. Not a negative output, but a reduction in volts from 2.5 volts downwards towards 0 volts. So the sense is wrong, it's back to front. So that 514 minus sensor value corrects that. So not only does it take away this 2.5 volts of offset, it also removes the slight error we were getting, because you'd expect 511 or 512 there, and we've put 514, and it also sorts out this uh, negative uh, connection that I've happened to get purely by chance on my board. Now the next step in the process is to get the scaling right and I have to admit this did cause me a few problems it took me a while to get this straight in my head but I think I've got a way of explaining it now and uh, I hope it makes sense. So in the Arduino or any microprocessor you've got an analog to digital converter the analog is in volts typically 0 to 5 volts the digital is in counts and with the 10 bit D2A you've got a 0 to 1023 count so real-world volts are converted into counts inside the microcontroller. And since we want to display volts, then it's our job with the mathematics to turn counts back into volts. So we need to change this scale, 0 to 1023, back to this scale, 0 to 5. And I found it easiest to put an intermediate scale in there, 0 to 1. And what that lets us do is transfer first from the 0, 1, 0, 2, 3 scale to 0 to 1 and that is simply divide by 1, 0, 2, 3. Then we want to go from the 0 to 1 scale up to 0 to 5 and that is multiplication multiplied by 5. And that's actually the code that you write in to the Arduino sketch to get from the digital back to 5 volt analog. Now with the ACS712 we have to go one step further because the analog uh, value coming out of it is 5 volts but the analog value going into it is a number of amps. We don't actually know what that is yet. Now there's nothing on the data sheet to say how many amps passed through this thing would give rise to a full-scale deflection of the voltage output. Um, but what it does have on the back is this table. 
and that shows us that for on the top line for the 5 amp unit it's got a sensitivity of 185 millivolts per amp. So if I write that down as 0 0.185 volts per 1 amp, that's part way to calculating the full scale uh, range of amps that will give rise to a 5 volt uh, change in the output. So let's equate that to 5 volts and our unknown there is x and we have an algebraic equation. So what I can do is uh, get rid of the 1, that cancels out, or it's not used, and if I swap x and 0 0.185, then x will equal 5 divided by 0 0.185. So, 5 divided by 0.185 is 27.03. So x equals 27.03 amps. 27.03 amps will give rise to the full 5 volt swing on the output of this sensor. So now on the list of scales, we now have a new one, current going into the sensor, scales from, or ranges from 0 to 27.03 amps. So the full chain of events now is current is converted to voltage in this scale, which is converted to counts in the analog to digital converter in this scale. So the math to convert from counts back to amps is divide by 1023 multiply by 27.03. So here's the final code with the uh, 27 amps value put in there. And uh, of course it's still reading zero because there's no current flowing through the sensor. So the final thing I'm going to do is um, put a, a light bulb on there and get some current flowing. So light bulb connected into the circuit, 12 volts coming from my solar panels. And finally we have some amps. 1.7-ish amps.